to the channel. How's everybody doing? Uh, today we're going to talk about, uh, this is like a, I think this is a 2011 uh, caravan, town and country, uh, Dodge, it must be Dodge Caravan. Anyway, it doesn't matter the car because I want to talk about a particular noise. Now, this is first thing in the morning, this car is cold. Fluid is nice and thick, but we're going to talk about power steering noise. Get a lot of young guys uh, can't really tell if the noise is coming from a particular area, meaning it's the noise power steering related, transmission related, uh, belt noise, which can also be power steering noise, or, um, you know, any kind of noise they can't distinguish that only happens uh, during cold. So I convinced this lady, uh, by the way, I met her brother's motor. I convinced him to leave it or get her to leave it overnight so I can test it first thing in the morning. So here I am. Now, let's start the car. Again, this is first thing in the morning. Car hasn't been started. I hope it starts. Look like the battery did. All right, let's see. There you go. It starts. Okay, let me shut up for a minute. Ooh. From the sound of that, I'm trying to get the buzzer to shut up. Okay, it's warming up. Let me turn the steering wheel. Alright, don't hear any... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't hear any power steering noise, but let's give it a second so it'll run. Okay, while it's heating up, or while it's, uh, you know, getting the operating temperature, let me go over a few things. There is a difference between a power steering noise and a transmission, or a power steering whine and a transmission whine. Okay, on some of my previous video, I know y'all heard what a 62 TE sound like whining. Uh oh, you can hear it. Ladies and gentlemen, I hear a whining noise, but it is not. Uh, uh oh, y'all hear that? That is not power steering noise, ladies and gentlemen. This van likely has a 62 TE. Oh boy, and they're gonna be highly upset if I have to tell them that uh, the noise coming from the transmission. Okay, again, if it was power steering, I probably would be getting yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, you can uh, simply easily go out and check the fluid. In fact, let's do that. All right, let's go out here. Uh-oh, that is loud. Oh boy, here we go. Oh man. Ladies and gentlemen, that is not a power steering noise. Okay, this sun is, uh, let me take a look at the power steering fluid. It has power steering fluid in it. We left the cover off last night. I mean, again, we started up this morning. This thing probably won't even pull. But ladies and gentlemen, that noise is coming from the 62 TE transmission. It is not, I repeat, it is not a power steering noise, okay? Oh man, and on top of that, uh, I'm not sure if they have a warranty, so I have to find out. And y'all know how I do, I like to find out, because I'm now convinced these don't just, this just don't happen, okay? That has to be lack of maintenance, some lack of maintenance going on to cause this. Pumps don't just give out, that's the front pump line. It basically has to be starving for it to start doing that. I've yet to see uh, the veins. I don't know if y'all ever seen the inside of a transmission front pump. I have yet to see one of those uh, worn out, chewed out, or anything like that. So something causes this. And I suspect, I just suspect it is lack of maintenance that causes this. I, this car probably won't even pull. In fact, let me get in it. Wow. All right. Let me see, will it even go? How did my thing? 
See? You put it in gear, the noise go away. So that is transmission noise. Let me put it in park. You can hear the noise. So, yes, ladies and gentlemen, further diagnosis, I am in park, or, or to, to distinguish between transmission and power steering. I'm in park. Y'all hear it whining. I'm stepping on the gas. Now, if I, let me put this in gear. You hear that? Noise went away. Put it back in park, the noise coming back. Okay, y'all hear the noise, right? Let me put this in gear. Because I'm trying to show you how you to distinguish the noise, whether it's transmission or power steering. Power steering noise is not going to go away when you put the car in gear. But the transmission noise may go away when you put the car in gear. So let's see. In gear. The noise went down. Wow. All right, so that's pretty much how you can tell, distinguish the two. Power steering noise. Again, I should be hearing. Nah, nah, nah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a transmission whining front pump noise. And I can almost assure you it is whining because it is starving for fluid. Now, when I say starving for fluid, what I mean is... Uh, like don't get that confused because you can check the fluid level and it be full so you would think to yourself then how is it starving for fluid if it's full i'm gonna tell you why uh over time let me see how many miles on this thing uh where is the dt 83 miles that's distant to empty and the check in the light on so i'm gonna go find out why uh you know all this stuff on uh, I want to look at 78,000 miles these transmission on the uh, you know driving uh, special driving conditions normal driving conditions uh, should be serviced at 60,000 miles so let me get back on topic I'm gonna tell you why you could be starving for fluid but have uh, a full transmission in other words the transmission is full of fluid Here's how this transmission can still be starving because uh, the bulk of the fluid is not reaching the front pump. And what's stopping that from happening is uh, a clogged transmission filter. OK, <laughs> that's why they have regular scheduled maintenance where you go in, change the filter and the fluid because over time, anything that has clutches in it, clutch wear material, that, those, that's a wearable item. Clutches wear. The clutch inside the torque converter will wear. At any rate, that stuff will that that debris will end up in the transmission pan, and uh could easily, easily because keep in mind the pump trying to suck up fluid from the pan. That debris can easily clog up the filter and cause what you're hearing now. So don't, you know, don't get uh th think about what I'm saying when I say starving for fluid. Yes. That's right. It happens all the time. Hence, the scheduled maintenance that should be done at 60000 I, I don't know if uh, y'all seen my last video where I replaced the transmission that journey. I showed you uh, had over 100 and some thousand miles. And I showed you the pan had never been off. The pan had never been off. I can tell a factory seal when I see it. OK, that was a factory seal. Matter of fact, here's some of the footage. Okay, this pan had never been out. Over 150,000 miles, I think, was on this car. Gosh. Now, I'm getting all off uh, topic, but I just wanted to make sure, uh, uh, like I say, I have some uh, young students that have now subscribed to the channel. And I want to make sure they will be able to distinguish the difference between a transmission wine and a power steering wine. Okay, they're two different things and they're diagnosed two different ways. All right, so. With that being said, man, thanks for watching. Uh, comment, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And uh, I'll see y'all on the next video. We're going to talk some more on this stuff. All right. Thanks for watching.